Hi, hey everybody, Hi. it is Tanya Thrifty Treasures. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody, and welcome to episode nine of Jewelry Detectives. Today we have Debbie and Max go thrifting on the channel. And we also have Miss Angie here, Treasured Vintage. You guys want to say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> so do you guys have big plans for Valentine's tonight or today? No. Mm -hmm. We don't really celebrate it. We don't celebrate <laughs> anything anymore. <laughs> How about you, Angie? Uh, no, I just smell my flowers that I got. They smell really good and they're pretty, so. Uh, it's too busy. Everybody's out. It's too busy. We'll probably do something. Actually, there's a Amish place uh, a couple of towns over from here that we've been wanting to go to. It's like a little country store. And we're going to go over there this weekend. weekend yeah. and check. Just, we like to do something oh, like that. Yeah. yeah, I was talking to Deb yesterday and I was like, you know what? You couldn't pay me to go out to eat tonight because everything's nah. going to be so crowded and so packed. Yeah, and I had to run to the grocery store yesterday to pick up a couple of things, and there was like 50 guys in line, flowers, standing in. <laughs> Wait until the last minute. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they're fresher that way. That's true. So what kind of jewelry did you guys bring today? Uh, an assortment of everything. I don't think any of it's too fabulous. It's just stuff I've been picking up. I try not to spend more than... A dollar or two. I'm cheap. Um, but yeah, have an assortment. I have some questions on some things. So uh, you want to just. Which one do you want? Uh, doesn't matter. Just stick one up there. Max is here with us. Oh, and came up with this idea last night. When I get my jewelry in, of course, I dump it out um, and go through it, see what it is, see if it's got any marks. And then stick it over the side and then throw it in something. And then I go sew it again and I re sew it again. And I think I've got any marks. I do this like five times. So um, last night when we were doing this, I was trying to think of a way because Max and I neither one can see who it is really fast because we're blind. So I forgot we had these. We used to have a, um, we used to have a little store. shop. Uh, you want to hold that up? Yeah, it's your job. You're not doing anything. No, uh, you, you took it. And, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, we yeah. had these tags, and I said, "Hey, why don't we put these tags on stuff, and that way we can they, see what it is." And, then, and it holds them for like earrings. It holds them together. And light bulb went off, and I thought, "Hey, I can do this on everything I get in, and I won't have to resort. I will know who it is. We're good all. And also the back. These are big tags." Uh, any research or price that I want to, you know, put on it or whatever. I've got plenty of room to write everything on it right here. And I want to do it with time. I think it's genius because I was just telling Debbie before the show, I get jewelry in all the time and I'll research it and then I'll set it aside. Well, then I'll forget about it. Well, then I'll end up researching it again. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's I, a great I idea. I it like five times and I'm like, this is ridiculous. What are you doing, you idiot? So, but yeah, it, it takes me a while. Okay, this I think pen, it's a great idea. I actually, this is uh, Dane Craft. I think that's what it's pronounced. It's that carnival pen, which I think is pretty common. But I have seen this pen in color. I don't know if you've had it or not. I have seen this pen where the tint is like red and white, and the Ferris wheel is like it's a blue or a green. And I'd love to get that for me. I think it's, but I'm not sure it's a Dane Craft. It's um, really pretty. Yeah, I, I love it. Seen that before? I love you that. You haven't seen it? Now, see, I, I thought it was quite common. Well, uh, it might be. I I don't come across Dane Craft that often here. For some, well, I, I love it. I like it like it is, and I also I, it was strange because I saw the colored one and I thought, oh, I want that for me. Uh, is it an enamel, or is it? Did you, did you just say that the metal has a tint to it? No, this is gold metal completely. It's got a combination of matte and shiny, so it, it really looks nice that way. But I have seen the one that's colored. Um, the other ones, are they enamel? Or are they? Yeah, just... they're enamel. Okay. Uh, went over, I saw them go. And this is. Made in Austria. Oh, just made in Austria brooch. Uh, and it looks very vintage. From that now. is so pretty. I have one of those uh, brooches like that. It's not really signed by anybody, but it says made in Austria. 
Yeah. And it's real blingy like that. So pretty. Yeah, I, you know, I don't think I when I get this stuff, I have this problem, which is when I get this stuff, I've been selling um, just the stuff I'm paying a dollar for, but I put it on for like nine ninety five, eleven ninety five, and I'm thinking I just have a hard time asking more than that for it. Um, but I think I'm cheating myself. I think you uh, are too. I think you need to let ask bare minimum. I would say twelve ninety nine if you're going to go that low, because I noticed you're doing a lot of the nine ninety nine free shipping. Yeah. But then by the time your item sells and eBay takes a cut and PayPal takes a cut and then you got to ship it. Yeah, I know. You're left with $3. Yeah. I would even say maybe $14.99. $14.99 free shipping, you know, for the ones that you want to do like that. What do you think, Angie? First of all, have you looked at comps to see how they're, they're selling? Yeah, I usually do. Um, and they're most of the time they're all over the place or uh, there's nothing comparable. I find the same maker or, you know, but nothing comparable, but yeah, I mean, I think with my feedback and my, I really, I do all 12 photos and the descriptions and stuff. I think I could get more for them. You know? I definitely think you can too. And, and um, yeah, don't sell yourself short on that. Those types of things there, you know, that that stuff is, is going away. You know, you can't. Yeah, and I see so many people who have like one picture. And yeah. I, I mean, it's stuff I'm, I'm interested in. And I'll go, okay, let me see the pictures. And there's like yeah. one picture. Pictures like, are so important. Yes. And I have a lot of pictures. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, these That's are Avon nice. and they're what? Clipper rings? Yeah. They're... Wee. Wee. Those are the bounce on the floor. There, they got the little thing that opens up. They're called yeah, clip. That's yeah. a clip. Okay. okay. I'm so technical. The whole thing here that opens up. Yeah, ask him to fix your computer and he's fine. Ask him to flip everything and he's completely confused. <laughs> um, another thing I was going to bring up, but I don't know. Uh, I love the enamel flowers. This is probably the end of wash it out this pale pink. Oh, also, I love them too. I love those, but the majority I find have little spots or the colors missing. And I've heard everybody doing the enamel polish. And I tried it. Static, Deb. Are you? Do you have something going on with your mic? Is it brushing against something? Oh, put, she's putting her hand right in front okay, of it. Okay, well, can we move it? Oh uh, yeah, let's move it right to there. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. I, 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 I do this. I, know, I, I didn't realize I talked with my hands until we started doing YouTube. Uh, I'm not Italian. I don't know what it is. But um, the fan <laughs> polish showed through. It didn't look good. So I went. Oh, 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 oh. And I haven't done it yet, but I went to Michael's, and these are the little bottles that you paint the models with, and they're like a dollar a bottle, uh, but they're made to go on metal. Ooh, so a good idea. I'm going to try and I'll let you know what happens. My hands are really shaky, so I don't know, you know, what's going to happen. But yeah, the fan of polish just looked, I mean, I would wear it, but I wouldn't sell it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try, I bought several of these in different colors. And I'm going to try that and see, because I love these things and I hate to just see them, you know, not get wasted or whatever. And I've seen people spray paint just the whole thing in one color. Oh, I know that, uh, I'm sorry. I know that Princess Casserole has, and she's in the chat. I, I think she has recommended a certain kind of yeah. enameling paint. She said, yeah, the Kester's enamel paint. Yeah, that's what, exactly what I got. I'm glad I'm glad to know. I'm going to that try it too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. M Gent, J E N T. Or did we read that right? Does anybody know that? I've never heard of that. I don't know, but that's very pretty. Is it yeah, it's, it's a, yeah, it's like an enamel, but then it's covered with a clear, uh, you know, and it's either one is that a ladybug? A ladybug on it's it. It's got a little ladybug on it. It's really cute. Yeah. I've never heard. But it's quite clear. It says uh, it is M period. J-E-N-T. I mean, I can read it right here. Yeah, I'm looking on eBay right now, and I see at least 230 mm -hmm. items. I've never even heard of that. Let me see. Do mm -hmm. I have it? 
No, I definitely go higher on that piece. That that's a well made piece, and a lot of times when they have the cartouche on the back, that's another indicator of a well made piece. Now, now what's a cartouche? Yeah, that is that that layered uh, uh, thing stuff. The back that has the signature on it. It's a, it's kind of like a separate little label oh, yeah. thing yeah. that's attached to the back that's got the signature on it. Well, and I know ladybugs are real popular too. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So definitely go like mm -hmm. I'd go eighteen nine nine, nineteen nine nine more for Etsy. I'd go more on that one, but um, Angie, did you not have this? Am I crazy? I swear, I thought you had this on your box unveiling the other day. The starfish ring. I have. Oh, I, I had that. a starfish bangle. It was a bangle. Oh, yeah. so I've got the ring that goes with it. <laughs> when I saw this, I said, well, she had this on her unboxing the other day, but it was the bangle. Yeah. Uh, well, I've got the ring. <laughs> I don't think it's an exact match, but it's close. Yeah, this and, was more gold. Uh, Yours was silver, wasn't it? Yeah, what, what was cool about that was all I had to do was uh, relist because all I did was go to my sold items. And I pulled up that uh, listing, and I just said relist it. You know, you won't, you won't. That won't happen on eBay because they're probably your sold items from way back. You know, are already gone, right? Mm -hmm. And the pictures uh -oh. are gone. You got to pictures again. Well, now I that. have. Uh, I use Ink Frog, so it saves everything forever. So okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah. I did not know that they were still around. Who Ink Frog? Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I love used it a product. long time ago, but that's great. Yeah, it's great to be able to go in there and type Tupperware or, you know, whatever brand of jewelry and look and see if you have something similar that you can just go in and say sell similar and change a few words in the pictures and you've got your listing. So, well, and smart. since eBay has, you know, dropped everything after 90 days now, you know, yeah, um, that does stink huh. that they do that. This is a good old Sarah <laughs> commentary. <laughs> Yeah, so funny enough, I hadn't seen this. I mean, I told you my mom sold this, but I hadn't seen this piece, so it must have been either after 75 or before like 68 or something. So it's really pretty. Well, you know, they're not really worth anything, but I, I've, I've seen more of them coming up, people listing them, uh, but they're listing them maybe in lots, all Sarah Coventry or something. I guess there's a following. Debbie, you got to get a different mindset. Jewelry oh. is worth a lot. <laughs> I know, and as hard as it is for me to find it here, because our Goodwill all do the shop goodwill.com on all of their vintage jewelry. You can't go in the store and get it anymore. There's no jewelry jars. And That's I have a right. time finding it. Yeah, you I would know. Be surprised. People are looking for this stuff. I mean, they, they cannot I'm find it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to raise my prices. Uh, that's Nick on Um. And Max had a heck of a time finding the land on that one. It's literally on the on the pin itself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what's the name of it? Nippon. Nippon. Yeah, you're allowed really? to go in. Yeah. But it's I did not know they had jewelry. It's literally written. He's like, "There's nothing written right on here or something." And I said, "Is it right? I can feel it with my finger." Yeah, you can. You run your finger along the the pin, and you can feel a roughness on there. And I got the. Well, most powerful magnifying glass I have, and I could just make out Nippon on there. How do you spell it? N I P P N I P O N. Or no, it's N I P P O N. P -P -O -N. No, it's very hard okay. to see on the thing. I thought that was very common too. I thought they had all common stuff. I thought Nippon was like a Japanese uh, glass uh, wear. Uh, but you know, they do like. Uh, now that you mentioned, they do like China and stuff. Yeah. yeah, that's what I that's what I thought it was exclusively. I didn't know they had jewelry, and unless it's a different whole different company. Okay, I thought this one was neat. I got this on a box that I bought this week, um, and I thought, what the heck is this? In fact, I showed it on one of my videos. Uh, I'm not sure what it's made out of. It looks either bronze or brass. Or I maybe. think it's copper. Copper. Yeah. Well, no, it could be. No. Boy, that's a good question. Yeah, that's I don't know. But sure, and I'm like, what is this thing? And then Max says it's actually a little flower vase. You can actually put 
a real flower, a little flower oh. in the top of it. And oh, wear it. Oh, so cute. Yeah, I, I've never seen anything like that. Is that but, one marked? No, no, that was not marked at no all. No markings at all on it. I don't say I was false. I wonder if that might have had some um, the, uh, uh, fake little flowers, flowers in it that were fake. Well, you, you know, like little, you, what do I, I don't know say? If the camera will show it, but you look inside, you can tell there was water in it at one time because it's it's got that oh. uh, greenish uh, tinge to it on Very the inside. Green. From oh, it being wet. water, but um, it That's could be. It's okay. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read the chat now. You want this over there? <laughs> yeah, over there. I'm nosy. Okay. This is a Monet. Uh, and also, I'm seeing a lot of bows coming up. Uh, it's funny how things go in cycles. I'm just seeing tons and tons yes. of bows coming up. I agree. But, yeah, very funny. yeah. Um, and here's let's do this one. I, I'm really th now. This is one I have never heard of, and they are stones. They're cold to the touch. It's uh, M and W, and it's tiger eye, tiger eye necklace. Oh, how pretty. That is yeah. nice. I've got that in a lot I got off of eBay. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. Uh, but I've never heard MMW. I would have been with Martha Washington, but. Uh, See it? I don't know which way I turn it, but. Yeah, we're. I think I got something MW here recently. Is it MMW or just MW? Just MW. Just uh, ampersand. Yeah. Okay, just MW. Oh, okay. I'm about to They're big yeah. letters, right? Kind yeah. Of going yeah. Yeah. We can read those yeah, without. Got, some, got yeah. something See? like that. Mm hmm Yep. Got to figure out what that is. Okay. Uh, we have a listener piece. It's pretty. But it's missing some of the enamel again. A little touch of the pink flower is missing. So cute. Yeah. I gotta find my, I gotta try the uh, paint thing. Uh, these are, what's that one? Yeah, LCI. the and this is another one I hadn't heard of. LCI. I think that's Liz Claiborne Inc., isn't it? Oh, is it? Well, she puts, doesn't she put like Liz Claiborne on some stuff too? It's their clip earrings. I think they're cute. Dark eyes with little diamonds. So we might think you're a pawnbroker or something like that. Would be strange. He makes and uses himself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure about that uh, LCI, if that's. Um, I think it is. It's all this clay. Yeah, and it makes sense. I'm yeah. thinking, especially she wants some clay brush. She wants some lids. Now, this I've had for ages and just kind of been holding on to it. It's, oh, I love those. Oh, me too. What age are those? Because they're in their 50s. He's possibly 40s. I, and it's a loose eye, right? Yeah. Flowers yeah, a loose eye. Like it's a yeah. brooch, right? Yeah. 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 I've got right. ones with red roses in them. I just keep them. I don't know why. I just hold on to them. <laughs> it's They're funny pretty. yellow. And, uh, I didn't. I just been holding on to it. I don't know why. I like it's gonna money is gonna grow in value. Um, okay, another Sarah Coventry. Which well, that's a pretty one. Does yeah, that kind of matches kinda, the other piece, doesn't it? Yeah, she kind of got in that aqua. Fake so that, that could be a, a series that she did, or a uh, what do I want to yeah. say? A collection, a collection mm -hmm. that she did. I should have got that up about six months ago when the tassel craze was going on. Oh, there was a tassel craze. Oh yeah, you about six months ago, everything was tassel. You gotta keep me up on this. I know, right? <laughs> you gotta tell yeah, me, baby daddy. There's a tassel craze. There was a tassel <laughs> craze. And this is Monet. Yeah. You know, these were pretty. I got those. Oh, I love those. I don't know if they're like spring, don't they? I love those. I love the colors. Yeah. 
And I'll tell you something else I've been doing is uh, my name brand pieces. I've been trying to go through my no name pieces and find something that kind of matches them and just throwing mm -hmm. it in. So people will be like a little more tempted by me. And mm -hmm. that seems to be doing pretty good too. Yeah, um, I think that's a great idea. Yeah, you know, what else are you gonna do with a no name except put a you know a whole lot of it together? Mm -hmm. I now these I got at a um, auction and a box lot of jewelry, and I've had these for a while. And I think these may I think they're really old, and I almost think they may be jade. What is that centerpiece? Is it an animal? It looks like it's carved and it's got a tiny, tiny little pearl in the center. But I'll show you the back and I'll flip it back around again. But it's um getting that green color on the what turns green? Copper and bronze. Yeah. So, but yeah, actually no. Put in that rocket right there. Yeah, show them the make it nice really. I don't know. What is it? That, that's kind of one of the reasons I haven't listed. I can't tell. I mean, it could be, I mean, they're oriental. It could be a mythological creature or it's like a dinosaur um, to me. <laughs> that, looks like a dragon. That, that could be jade. Is yeah, that that's, what, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it is, it, it is this cold. Way, like I would dragon. check that out because jade is very valuable. Very much looks so. Like yeah, I've had these for probably or, three or like four a, years. Oriental dragon. I would put that to a jeweler mm -hmm. because you don't want to sell that for nine ninety nine. You sure. know what? I wonder. It's got that little bitty and stone down at the bottom. That's. I wonder what that would be. Well, the top stone and the bottom are the same. One, one thing about jade, the, it has that coloration that is. Uh, I want to say mixed, like you know, it's it's got some of the light and some yeah. of the, the pale green in it. it, it that's a, another indication it could be jade. So you want to get that checked. Yeah. Looks like it could be. Uh, but what what is the um? How is the, how is it made as far as quality? Do you think it's made uh, very good quality? The rest of the earring. Well, that's what I was saying. It's. The back is turning green, uh, but that I wouldn't doesn't think necessarily it. say it's bad quality, though. That just the, says um, the top stone and that little bottom stone are both prong set. So yeah, well, I I to, the thing Max is calling the dragon is actually prong set too. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Carla, Carla's Would asking you if you could. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, Angie. <laughs> I'm I'm talking too much. You you say you talk. No, you say yes, it. I am. I'm, talking too, I'm talking too much again. <laughs> no, you're not. We got our money. Uh let's see. Okay, Princess Castro said, Can I put a picture in the jewelry? Yeah, I'll try. Yeah, we'd love to see those up close. And I'll try to put those in there. Put them up there. Okay, what you got? Um yeah, some Leo Sophia, which I had never heard of until I started selling this, and I found out it's not worth much of anything. But yeah, I never pick it up. Like Are I you say, Andy? The Leo Sophia? No, I, I can't sell that on Etsy, so I don't really bother with it. No, the majority of this came out of uh, a lot that I bought. Well, I bought like five lots off of uh, eBay, and I just pulled the best of the best out. Um, do mm -hmm. that one. Yeah, that was pretty. That's a Trafari. Uh, I think it's is it a triple or a double strand. It's uh, let me get it straightened out here. It's maybe more than that. I think it's more than that. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's Trafari. Beautiful. Yeah, that's gorgeous. It's five. Oh, that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Did you guys ever get on Etsy or are you just on eBay? No, I have an Etsy account and I, I sell on Etsy. Uh, <laughs> I, I cross sell, but I'm scared, um, you know, about the vintage thing. It's funny, though, this week I had this huge, huge 
tiki poo poo platter thing, you know, like the appetizer thing. You see with the wood pineapple on top and all that. Had four levels or five? I was huge. It had four I had it on eBay levels. for thirty nine ninety five. We'd had it a while and it's like, oh god, I just want to get rid of this thing. And I had it on Etsy for seventy nine ninety five, and they bought it off of Etsy. So of course got, they did. <laughs> I got seventy nine ninety five for it, and I hurried over to eBay and canceled the thirty nine ninety five one. But that's thought, exciting, isn't it? Yeah, I was thrilled. We bought Max is like, are you kidding? And I'm like, no, <laughs> it's sold. We got rid of it. But yeah. Yeah, I I tried. Etsy took something down of mine about six weeks ago and said, if you continue to da 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 da, we'll and I was like, oh God, I'm not gonna listen to anything else. I was terrified. You got it upside down. I'm working on it. I was just turning that's it. That's my that's Napier. Well, that's pretty. It's a little mommy butterfly, baby butterfly. Yeah, that is pretty one. But yeah, I know I need to get on Etsy more. And it's easy, really, um, to do. I just open Ink Frog and I open eBay and I open Etsy too. And I just like, <laughs> it's easy to do it all three at the same time. I know, me too. But I don't know. And this is Reed Martin, which I think is a um, silverware maker. Am I, I know, isn't that crazy? <laughs> so um, I sold a little deer one before. I think it sold for about fifteen or twenty dollars. Yeah, it's pretty. It's butterflies again. But yeah, I'm thinking, but I saw Reed Martin. Yeah, I'm surprised that Reed Barton stuff is not worth more. I think it's very pretty, but it doesn't move very well. I have some pieces in my shop now, and I have some more to list, but I know it's kind of a slow mover, so I haven't listed it. Okay, let's see. Uh, and I love, I love, I love, I love Art Deco. Um, yeah, me too. Well, and I got these two pieces, but I'm just showing the... And I said, those both would be considered Art Deco, right? Are they pens? Yeah, they're both pens. And the thing about mm -hmm. this one is somebody has enameled over it. So I don't know if that was done after or before. And that one's more That is a very nice uh, representation of a Pierre Bex piece. Um, that one on the, the one with the enameling over it. Yeah. Um that there Pierre X is really a sought after um maker of pieces like that. Let me see the back of it. Yeah, uh, it's it looks Ooh. Yeah, it looks old. That yeah. looks Very old clip that right. looks like I don't know. Get that checked too, because the back of that looks really good. Maybe it is a Pierre Bex piece. I don't know. Do your research on that. Yeah. Look well, up Pierre Bex. The, the look up genuine so Pierre Bex. So how do you spell right that? Yeah, how do you spell it? Write something down. <laughs> Make yourself useful. <laughs> it's Pierre Bex. B E X. Yeah. B E X. Bex. I've never heard of that. Um, paper. Um, yes, yeah, Lonnie is saying Angie is so knowledgeable, and she is. Like I've never even heard of that. <laughs> Except she can't go live. And Lonnie, we want to talk to you about that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lonnie, they have a video request for you. I'll inform you at the end of the show. Okay. Um, and this is funny in this one. We could not read this to save our lives. We started last night. We tried again this morning. And I put it in the uh, Facebook group this morning. And somebody said, you're looking at it upside down. It says Jerry's. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to like spell, and Max is like it's like hieroglyphics, and we're like, <laughs> I get you, Dad. Been like, there, done that. And I went, turn it upside down. You're looking at it wrong. I'm so I'm like, oh God, what an idiot. But yeah, a little apple. Um, but thank you, all you people who have all us special people out. <laughs> What's that one? Coro, and what is it? Oh, these, these earrings are really pretty. Yeah. Clip. You know, I'm surprised that Coro doesn't sell for more than it does. It's well made. 
it's considered, you know, past it is very well laid up. Those are really pretty. Mm -hmm. It's like a topaz blue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's another one. That's a, oh, yeah, this is a really mean? interesting. This is a ring, and I've never heard of this before. It's NRG, and I wear a size nine ring. And, well, let me take my wedding band off. Oh, that's a wedding band. That's my diamond. Let me take my diamond off. And it fits my little finger, which is probably a nine and a half or a ten. And it's oh, solid. you should keep that one. I Ooh. know it's solid. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, but doesn't it say something after the NRG? No, the NRG is all it has right there on the back. Yeah, NRG. Right there and on the top. Yeah, okay, that has a cartouche on it too, so nice. Yeah. Well, like I said, and, and for a costume ring, it's very well made. What is that uh, inlaid in there? Some kind of a coral colored acrylic, or what is it's that? A light yeah. pink. Is it touch the stone? Touch the stone. Is it cold or hot? Put it to uh -huh. your cheek. See if it's cold. Well, now that you felt yeah, it, all I felt over, it, it's, it's hot. all warm, but it doesn't seem like Maybe it doesn't feel like it's cold. It's cold. Well, the metal is cold. Oh, yeah. so it's a stone. Could be. Yeah, I think it's cold. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything on eBay. You know, I wonder if it stands for like some kind of, maybe what kind of metal it is. I don't know. I have four costume jewelry books and we had them out last night and we're, you know, going through and. Have you checked Illusion Jewels? That's where, that's my first go-to for, uh, for, um, Oh, well, you know, I was, well, um, <clears throat> What is, why do you have that up? So, Let me bring no, that up, Andy. Because that's all it's on there. There's an X on the back. That's oh, yeah, it. I remember that. Yeah, that was, this was kind of a weird one, too. It's a pretty little, uh, I don't know what the metal is, a little brooch, but it's marked. Look at how they're showing the mark on the back. The only mark on it, and it's very detailed, can you say, is an X. Hmm. I've never seen anything like that. And I mean, it's a that metal. And the metal feels like pewter. Is yeah, well, it they, pot metal? It looks like pot metal to me. Uh, Max is good with pewter, and he says he thinks it's pewter. Oh, okay. Which is one step up from pot metal, but I mean, it's. You know, but it's just weird. I've never seen it just, I mean, has, just an X. It's like somebody, you know, in the old more, days, you couldn't write your name, so you just mark it with an X. To me, it looks like a newer piece, though. And does it? Well, the yeah. clasp, it's got a newer type clasp. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, it looks clasp. to me like a, new, a newer piece. Um, going back to the piece you showed before this one, the NRG ring, Kathy Earl yeah. says she thinks it's an Avon piece. Oh, That's really? what I was thinking, too. I think it's going to be that. What makes sense was I know they do make rings two sizes exactly. Oh, well, I'll keep it then. Yeah, no, definitely. Sure. Okay, get ready, Angie. You got your, got your, oh boy. you ready? <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> oh, what is it? These are is earrings. It? This is a no way. Yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cute. And this thing is no like, way. oh, just like four inches. Yeah, is about that four a squirrel? Inches yeah. <laughs> What's it made of? Yeah. Squirrel earrings. Yeah. Wood. They're made of wood. Yeah, and, somebody hand wood. And this is all inlay on the on these here. Oh, it's, I would sell those oh for goodness. This is not okay, they're either anything. gonna fly out or they're gonna sit forever. One of the two. Well, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm you know me. I want to cut the friggin' oh, you're gonna off keep of this it. and make a brooch. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but no, no, that that took a lot of wear work. The earrings? No, no, these would bother, these would drive me nuts because they're so wide. Um, oh yeah, have, uh, I don't mind like dangle long, but wide. But yeah, I'll probably because this is inlaid wood. Uh, yeah, somebody put a oh. lot of time. And in you look at that, the blacks lines. That's ebony. Oh, really? there's some cherry. That looks like oh. uh, birch. 
And then there's uh, don't recognize this up here. This must be like uh, something from out of South American wood. Right, no oak or anything. I oh, would that's oak that. right there. We got some oak right here. I would put it that's up for seventy four ninety nine. There's a piece of wall. I'd right let it here. go for seventy four ninety nine. They're gonna have my squirrel. Yeah, yeah so I what is it set? Etsy because it is handmade. I mean, yeah. there's yeah, no way. Definitely. What kind of yeah. price would you put on it, Angie? Well, for um, Etsy, I don't know. I might, I might go. No, I might go ninety eighty five dollars or something like that. Yeah, I think so too, especially if there's nothing else anywhere like it. And it looks like yeah. it might be a one of a kind piece. Yeah, but like I said, sad. somebody's either going to scarf that up or it's going to sit forever because I've had those kind of one of a kind pieces and I, and they just sat like. Well, you've got to have somebody like me, and I wouldn't pay that much for it, or somebody who like collects squirrels. You know how people collect different things. But. Yeah. Are they pierced? Let me see the back of them. Yeah, they're yeah. pierced. See this? Okay. I was, now this would be a brooch. You know, I could wear that like. I mean, put that up to your ear once. I mean that. I mean that would go like half on your face, half in your yeah. hair. Yeah. It'd be like half right there. <laughs> yeah, it'd, it'd be not. everywhere. Somebody <laughs> says QVC has a guy that does inlays, and it might be him. I just can't imagine doing enough. Well, the thing to is, to sell on QVC. I mean, this is a lot of work. The woods on each one. Are not exactly the same woods, but they're all. I mean, that took some work to get them to look so much alike. I wonder if it's considered mm -hmm. to be like intarsia, like uh, with the different that, kinds of uh, woods laid out in it. Is that, uh, That's what I was trying to think of. In there for the eye? But, but intarsia it. doesn't have that lacquer over it, does it? Like that. That looks like smooth. Yeah, oh, I've never it? seen it well, like that. You can feel the texture. With, yeah, they're texture. using big words. I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. I say, oh, we got to uh, get the um, get the towel out. I have something. I don't know. Maybe big light. Oh, it looks like it. So we're gonna test it. Maybe yeah. since I don't, I probably I won't get any more because it's like, well, we gave you one set and you broke it. We're not going to let you have any more. <laughs> oh, and while he's doing that, can I tell everybody about the contest? Yes, please do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Max and I on our YouTube channel, Debbie and Max Go Thrifting, uh, are having a contest. We had 100 viewers. And uh, you just Subscribers? Subscribers. Did you viewers. say viewers? <laughs> yeah, that's probably all we've had for viewers, too. But... Uh, <laughs> Under comments, put a number between one and 124. And tomorrow, the 15th, uh, in the evening, we're going to use a computer number generator. And uh, Max will generate the number. And whoever has the number, oh, it's Make a Light, Make a Light. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, uh, we're going to give them a prize box. We haven't said what it is yet, and we're not going to, uh, but it's going to be a whole bunch of goodies and a prize box. And if you have a YouTube channel, then you can choose to open it on air if you want, or you can keep it a secret if you want. But anyway, yeah, it's going to be good. We give away is it going to be a stuff. giant squirrel necklace? If you win, <laughs> Angie, it might be. <laughs> So oh, you guys, um, I'm I'm about to drop their channel link here in the chat, but it's also the very first uh, item there in the description box too. Yeah, so, so be sure and go subscribe to their channel. Yeah, we we give good stuff away. Max is always like, well, that's gonna make it go up five pounds. I'm up here, put it in there anyway. And we just go around and <laughs> gather everything. I, and I sell a little of everything. I'm trying to get to jewelry and books, but I got to get rid of all the 3,000 other things I had before then. So you never know what you might get. Uh, and you might even get some goodies. 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 Who's that? So, well, wait, name. we just passed right over the bank light earrings. Oh, sorry. We just, I just showed them. So, you got to get those listed. You already have those listed? Not another bank light. I'm waiting for today. Oh my goodness, I think you'll get a pretty penny for those. 
I didn't get, I don't have my Bakelite earrings listed yet either. I don't know why. Yeah, I picked them up at a um, estate sale a couple weekends ago and I need to get them listed too. I'll post them in the jewelry group. What are you going to list yours for, uh, Tanya? Um, I've been doing a little bit of research and I would say at least 50. You think? Uh, well, they're the button kind. They're like the button oh, kind, and then it's got okay. another piece on the top of it. Okay. But Were they still, these are pairs. Were they still making up when pierced was? Yeah, I have, I have some pierced ones too. I think both of mine are pierced, the ones that I have, I think. Or ones so what would you make, 39 99 Do you have yours listed, Angie? No, not yet, I have to do that. I, um. My friend, um, let me think of her name. Um, oh gosh, her name escapes me. She has an Etsy shop and she sells hers for like $24.99. But I don't know, I might go higher on mine. Mine are like a neat color and uh, somebody asked what we use to get the label items just showing them the thing. Oh, yeah, that's what I use too. Yeah, you can get this off of uh, Amazon, it's really cheap. I think it's less than $10. That's the only place you can find it too. Like you can't just go down to Walgreens or Walmart and pick up that stuff. You have right. to get it on Amazon. So thirty nine ninety five. At least I would post them in the jewelry group too. Okay. Mm -hmm. We should make like a bake light. Thread. And don't forget to do that. Um, uh, suspected Pierre Bex brooch. Put that in. Got yeah, uh, mm -hmm. that right here. Okay. Just in case. Yeah, I got a bank. I paid ten dollars for me, and I was so excited to sell some bank light. It's on one of our videos. Max did the semi-prone test, and it came back positive. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and I went to smell it, and I like rubbed it or whatever, and I broke the string. So we have beads going everywhere. So we have slowly been picking them up, and I'm going to have to restring it. But I do have a Bakelite necklace, too, and it has these tiny, tiny, I can get one. Every bead has this tiny bead between it. And that's uh, Bakelite, too? Yeah. Yeah. I was so excited. Too. The tiny ones fell, too, on the floor. Oh, yeah. But we, yeah. I think we pretty much have got, it looks like it's about 18 inches now. So hopefully... Uh, we've got them all. Yeah, we hurried up because we didn't want the dollar name when I would have had to make him throw them and give him my bag like that. Right. Uh, That'd be an expensive little treat. Yeah, uh, give me my bag like that. Uh, this <laughs> is Monet, and I've seen this one a lot too. Uh, the hat, which I guess like an Easter bonnet or something, if you got it up now, it might. Uh, it's really uh, pretty. I gotta start reading the chat. It's cute. Uh, that now that one. Okay. Yeah. This I have seen described two ways. This is what? Oh my goodness, how cute is that? C is it winky? Yeah. C O V and I. Well, that's what hold it up, honey. Yeah. I have seen this twice um two different People have listed it for sale. People have called it the winking dog. And then people haven't mentioned that in the title. But when you go down in the description, they say it's missing one of its bags. Oh, so it's closed. <laughs> but I, I, when I got it, I looked at it and I thought, I don't think there's a place there for that eye to be. So I think there's it's a, you, There's the fur. It's hanging down right here over the eye, where the other eye would be. So that is so cute. Yeah, a little winking dog. Yeah, but it's C O V N I. I thought that was short for Kevin. That's all it Kevin. says. Yeah, that's all. It doesn't have the. C O V V N I. C O V N I. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Probably not. Okay, you're not going to be able to see it on there, but. Yeah, I think he's adorable if he's winking. But yeah, it's funny because if you look, you will find people who say winking hubby, and then people who just say, oh, he's missing his eye. Do the voice. It's so important. I can't say that. Was Bernard. Oh, yeah. And I've been finding a uh, good bit of this here. Les Bernard. Is he very common? Oh, Les Bernard, Bernard is a very good maker. Oh, oh. they're nice. 
Uh, Clip. Les Bernard is a very sought after uh, mid century jewelry maker. Oh, good. I found like three or four pieces of his. I had oh, wow. Them. Oh, wow. Les Bernard's good. Yeah. Okay. Are so, those... a pair, a pair of earrings like 1995, $22.95? Uh, check comps. It depends. Um, they could okay. go higher than that. Were those earrings or cufflinks? Those, those were earrings. earrings. Cool. Uh, yeah. Earrings. I don't know. They. I know that uh, Karen, um, digging the dirty girl, is always very happy when she finds Les Bernard things. So well, I'm always happy when I find something a brand I've never heard of before. And this is you really can't get it on the screen, but it does have the dove mark. So it's unlike you, Angie Savorsky, Savoyski, whatever. Savorsky. <laughs> this thing. It doesn't do it justice. I mean, it blames like you would not believe. So that's going to be a high end piece too, and you you want to make sure you price that up too. Yeah, it, it's it's gorgeous. I hope I can get the pictures. Uh, get that bling on it. Uh, do that one. Uh, Karen at the beach wants to see the mark on the Les Bernard piece. Okay. I think it's just Mark Les Bernard. I don't, I, it might be on a cartouche. I'm not sure. I forget. It's on the uh, clasp. Okay, it's on the clasp. That's pretty hard to see. Yeah. I think it's in block letters, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we can't see it. And it's in block letters, though. It's got a little something there on the back i don't know what that is can you read it or not i'm sorry i missed it no it's just a symbol of some sort it kills me when they do that it's got a copyright symbol and it's got like a little like a oh, exaggerated check mark huh does it stick to a magnet could it be real gold there's the magnet <laughs> You never know. Magnet. Here it is. Oh, you found it. There it goes. Hmm. Come on. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's got it's magnetic. Yeah. So it's not it's not gold. Just barely magnetic, but. This. What is this? Is this an earring? Is this a pen? It's a, pen? It's a, it's a. Well, the back's not on it. No, no, it hooks right like that. See, it's a, it's not an earring. It's a brooch. Oh, okay. A little tiny brooch. It's just the pen is bent. Okay. This says eight, 18 carat or 14? 14, 14 carat. And then it's got something beside it that we can't read, but I'm assuming it's gold filled or gold plate. It's like G L G or something. So. Wait, so it says 14K G something? No, it says 14K, then there's a circle next to it, and inside the circle, there's a couple of letters. And we can't very, make them out. Very, so tiny, it's... You, Is you it just, magnetic? We don't ever think of these things. <laughs> no, it is not. That's probably a real gold, I bet. You think it's real gold? Might be. It's a little it's bit not magnetic. Well, you know it's not big as a dinner plate, so it didn't catch my attention. That doesn't matter. I mean, it looks like it, you know, I mean, it it two or three grams and yeah, that's, yeah. I think that's onyx. No, yeah, I have a pile that I've I've got that I throw it sort of like it's right here. Um yeah. that I throw check that out. Like Take it to the jeweler. Yeah, I am slowly yeah. figuring this out, you guys, but not all gold is worth taking to the jeweler to, just to scrap. There are some pieces that are more valuable. Uh, right. The, yeah. So, like, if I if I scrap this little fourteen karat gold uh, little salamander here, this little lizard, you know, I wouldn't get hardly anything for him. But if I listed him because you know it's fourteen karat gold, these are probably real emerald green eyes. So I probably get a lot more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That's kind of. Uh... Uh, Tracy wants to know if it's EP in the circle. 
it's so tiny. Uh, you can't. There's no way you're going to be able to read. I, 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 I took a picture of it with a high res camera and blew it up as big as I could. Mm -hmm. And even then, you can't make out what the letters are in that tiny circle. Do you think, do you think is there any imperfections in the gold, like bumpiness or like, uh, you know, like it looks like it's plated at all? Or is it, does it look well, smooth he has like silver gold? Yeah, is it a beautiful It's got a little clear tip in its tail. Which if it was gold, I would assume that might be a little diamond. Um, so, I don't know, hold it up. Is there anything, any writing on the post of the pen oh, like you saw? In the, no, no, that no, other no, pen we had. Yeah, that's a good point, Angie. No. Well, just send it to me, and I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, well, that, I, if that is gold, that would definitely be one that I would sell instead and not scrap. I agree. But but I would take it to a jeweler to verify whether it is gold or not, mm -hmm. if you don't have a tester. Well, Do you guys have a local yeah. jeweler that you use? Uh, yeah, I have a jeweler that uh, I buy my stuff for, for myself from them. They're... They're a jeweler. They're not a jewelry store. You know what I mean? Right. And mm -hmm. I take my scrap there, and they actually have a policy that if you scrap your gold there, they will give you an extra twenty percent toward a purchase. And you, you don't take it back in cash. You want to buy something, and you can leave it there on credit for as long as you like. So I've actually done that before. I got me a pair of diamond earrings, and I had some rings resized. And what else? That's I, a great deal. Yeah, yeah. 20% of what you're going to get in cash. Yeah, that was pretty good. As much as I'm Yeah, definitely. So, uh, Ashley, they made that ring for me. That, uh, yeah, I combined three rings and made that ring. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's wow. gorgeous. That is. Uh, okay, we have a FAP, F-A-P. Now, I know this is a Italian mosaic something. I can't think of the word. Wow, that's but beautiful. Most of them, one is cleaning very badly, but most of them are marked. Italy, because that's where they're made. Flip it over. This one has F A P. I don't know if you'll be able to read it, but it's really tiny, just right above the class. Okay. Is it micro mosaic? Yeah. Yeah. Type un hit unlatch the. Oh no, you can see the thing right clearly over it. See, because the path is right up there. Okay. But yeah, I, I've never seen one of these that didn't say Italy on it. Oh wow, those sell for good money. Yeah, uh, and I like those a lot. I would actually like to have one uh, myself, but you know me, mine would have to be so big I couldn't afford it probably. Show them the FAP again. I don't look at it. Take it I can't time. really see it. I can't really see it. Uh, it's 12.57, do you need to go? Oh, is it? I need to go. I gotta get to my meeting. I would ask at least twenty five dollars for that. Well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to clean it when the baby oh, yes, is brushed. And uh, you think more, Angie? What do you think? I don't know. I've never seen one that's green like that and shaped like that before. You got the wheel. Okay. One leg yourself so you don't forget. Um, Max has got to take a conference. Bye, call. Max. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm sitting here looking on eBay, and it looks like when. Somebody was asking twenty four ninety nine, but it looks like maybe a best offer was accepted. Oh. But it does. Let me see the colors because this one has red. Yours has green, right? Well, all green. It looks like. That's what I think. It desperately, desperately needs to be clean. Oh God, Max, do it in the box. Was it the same shape? Oh, yeah, about it. <laughs> it was crescent. Wait yeah. a minute, I found it. Yeah, no, they I call didn't. it. Their title reads Vintage FAP Italy Floral Micro Mosaic Crescent Crescent Pen. See, I think it has red. Okay. What? Oh. Yeah. 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 I never seen it. Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen one like that, but I, I guess they are more prevalent. I just probably haven't seen them. Yeah, I've never found one. I've looked at them because I would look, I would like one for myself. Uh but and again, I've never wanted to pay whatever I ask it for. So. I've seen them before on Etsy. 
Well, and you know what? You could probably ask for more on Etsy too. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, this was, uh, let's do have some here then. Yeah, okay. Uh, and this is BKG and Company. And I have no idea what, it's a ring. It's not adjustable or anything. And I'm sure it's CC. It looks like, I've got them inside them pretty well. But it's solid. And I think I've heard BKG uh, as a name before. BKG, let me look it up. Uh, I'm find where he saw it at. Does it say anything else on it or just be uh, uh, BKG? And he's got S slash A. Looking for each. All my supplies were scattered last evening when we were doing this, so I don't have my magnifier. Oh, I'm not seeing anything on it. I thought BKG I've never was heard pretty. of that. BSK, but not BKG. Yeah, that's the first thing I thought when she said that. That's my that's what I'm thinking of. I got BSK? A I thought of BSK, and I guess that's what I was thinking instead of BKG. I got a lot of looking up today. <laughs> I, uh, I was so impressed with your little hang tags there. I think that's such a clever idea. I know. Yeah. I, I'm so glad I thought of it because it, it, hopefully it'll make it uh, a better process. Oh, there's one magnifying glass. Did you uh, wear any uh, jewelry today, Tanya? Uh, I did. Well, let's see your jewelry. <laughs> can, you, can you miss them? <laughs> Those big hoops. I noticed you were getting some compliments on them in the chat too. Yeah, they're actually they're actually stainless steel. Are they really? And, yeah, and I never saw stainless steel that was gold. Oh, cut. I don't remember when you did them in your uh, haul. Oh, you do? Yeah. yeah, yeah I, I, I just I, bought them, so, um, I put them. I I usually don't even put this kind of stuff on I, I thought now this is going to be a trick getting these in my ears but they weren't too bad to put on and uh somebody said i'm rocking them so I'm yeah you are them <laughs> i'm putting them in my shop and uh, i also got this little uh and this this little pen is so cute it's signed art and Ooh, uh it's, it's already in my shop but look at for Valentine's Day. I don't know why. It's been in my shop for a long time. I think it might be expired right now, so I have to relist it. But look at that. It's a little dangling hearts on it. What do you have it listed for? Castle. I, I have to relist it because I think it expired. I, I might put it up for like 17 or something or 16. Really? I've noticed art pieces go for good money, Angie. Yeah, but this one was hanging around for a while. Maybe I'll put it at. 18 or 19. I don't know. But it was like hanging around for a while. So I don't know. But I know. I was surprised at art right there. Art does art does do well. Uh-huh. Maybe Definitely. since it's been on the show and I've showcased it, maybe somebody would see the beauty of it and right? would and, and it's got a castle too. Yeah. Huh, Debbie? Yeah. yeah. I mean. See, castles are in. Well, I did well, have, it, I didn't have it in, but I had it crooked, so I took it off. And then it, then it kept taking this down. <laughs> I didn't want a wardrobe malfunction, so I let I took it off. <laughs> All right, that was it. that was my jewelry for today. Could be worse. Mal wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> I'll I'll I see we're at the top of the hour, but I'll show you one more piece. This is sentimental for me. This is Sarah Coventry. I'm sure everybody recognizes it. I don't know if you can. This was my mother's very oh. favorite piece of Sarah Coventry she ever owned and believe me the woman owns some Sarah Coventry we're talking two or three hundred pieces. <laughs> That's beautiful. But she loved hummingbirds and she wore this and wore this and wore this and I'm like mom you've had other you know pieces you could be wearing but she loved this thing so I always I think of her with hummingbirds and I think of her with this thing so I don't wear it it's not it's really pretty. Yeah it, it, I that was her very favorite piece. Oh, look Wait, at are you going to sell it or are you going to keep it? I 
right now, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I have a few other things I can sell before I have to decide. So, did, did you see Lonnie? I heard more robot thoughts and I had to come run over and look. <laughs> Sorry, Lonnie. You've been in Mardi Gras territory too long. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Leave it well, alone. The, the, the flashing ended yesterday. <laughs> Oh, um, Brandy Wilson here on the chat is saying BKG Jewelry has a website, Debbie. Oh. oh. Okay. Thank you, Brandy. Thanks, Brandy. Yeah. So I will have to, I don't remember any of this. Get that pen look. working on those tags. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm going to patent that. So if y'all use it, then you have to give me a dime or something for everyone you use. Right. It on. Well, you can <laughs> go back and watch the show to to grab the notes too, Debbie. Yeah, I know. I always rewatch. I rewatch ours, which I guess is weird. Um, and then, do y'all do that watch later when you when you get the bing? You know, it's somebody you want to watch. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. like, mine's like at 89 now. I mean, I've got where I watch them in the car. I watch them. I just watch. I watch them while I'm listing. And I'm like Lonnie. I'll be listing or taking pictures and I'll hear something. I'll go, what? And I'll go running over to the thing and then I'll get interested in that and forget what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm like that too. It's squirrel syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, do you know if, because I like to watch them on the big screen TV when I'm in here working and listing and taking pictures and stuff. Yeah. Do the people get credit for the hours if you watch them on anything but the computer? I think so. What do you, Lonnie, are you still here? What do you think? I don't know why not, because your, your video is still being viewed. So I would well, think I have, okay. well I, you know, I wanted to get their, uh, their hours since they've got that 4,000 hour rule thing now. And I do watch a lot of mine on the big screen while I'm working. So yeah, I, yeah. Know. I never Lonnie, thought about that. Yeah, Lonnie, I think so, but there aren't as many ads. It's all good. Okay. Well, I don't feel so guilty now. Right. Well, the thing about the ads is you can't like when you're on the computer, you can just skip it. Right. But if you're watching yeah. on TV, I don't know about you, but I'm usually busy doing something. So the ads are just going to sit there and run. Yeah, they probably would prefer it. They should count it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, um, so I uh, just want to you want to remind everybody about your contest real quick, Debbie. Yeah. Uh, Debbie and Max go through a thing, YouTube channel. We hit 100 subscribers, which is a miracle. Uh, yeah, and anybody, I encourage anybody who doesn't have one or anybody who has one and you haven't done anything yet and you're scared, don't be. We started out so perfect and editing and na 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 na, and about a month into it, Max says, I can't do this. And I said, <laughs> just let it go. So just yeah. then, we just let the camera run and we do whatever and say whatever and do all kinds of crazy things that aren't supposed to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, uh, we just have fun with it. It's like talking to friends, you know, and then having them living room with you or whatever. But, uh, we are having a contest. If you go to our channel and in the comments below, if you want to subscribe, great. If you want to ring the bell, great. You'll find out when we're going to be on. Um, Put your number down there between one and 124, and we're going to send a big box of goodies out to somebody. Max will pick a number tomorrow night, Thursday, the 15th, after sometime after five. Well, we probably won't go up till like about nine. Uh, and uh, we will send a box out to you of all kinds of things that we're not going to say ahead of time. That maybe some of this lovely stuff back here, or not, maybe some of the stuff we showed today. You know, you never know yours, but it would be good. You'll like it. Maybe um, Joni's asking on what. I said, maybe what video? And we've got some, you know, Campbell's light of soup or something in case you're hungry for the winter. You never know with us what we're going to do. So, but yeah, and uh, we appreciate everybody who has subscribed and new with those watch. And we have bought a new camera so we can take you places with us and a new battery so we can not run out of time a lot of our videos just stop because our battery went dead so we got <laughs> we got a huge battery pack thing that will go for like 10 hours and we got one of those like gopro things that has the harness and you can go all over with it so um yeah we're gonna start taking people places when we go in fact i have a doctor's appointment next week if y'all want to go we can all go together 
Uh, he won't care. He's crazy as I am. But anyway. <laughs> right. Yes. Hey, um, Debbie. Yes. Joni is asking on um, what video. Is the is the the title of the video like subscriber giveaway? No, it's actually been like the last three or four because we wanted people because we, we don't do it live. And um we wanted somebody if they didn't watch it that particular day so it's been like the last three i think we did the first one we did on the 5th of february so we dated that and then we've done two more since then so any of those three if you comment with a number then that's fine we'll catch it and put you in the uh, drawing thing so we and we wanted to give people time well i didn't even think about setting a limit and then i looked at max and i said somebody can watch this three months from now and put a number down there and we wouldn't you know so we had to cut it off at the 15th but they gave everybody right. 10 days. So, um, and yeah, watch That's us. That's awesome. Well, I just adore you and Max. I think you guys are so much fun. And I thank you again for coming on and hanging out with us today. Well, you and, and Andy hope- both have taught me so much. And I love watching y'all's videos. Oh, and I have mentioned, I mentioned in our video, which I don't know if you can see me for slander or libel or something, but yes, I have thanked you in our videos when I oh, talk about things. That's so, very nice. So sweet. Well, you have you taught me a lot. Oh. Well, you've taught me a lot too because some of these brands you mentioned today, I had no idea about. Right. You're always coming up with some obscure brands that I n- never heard of. It's yeah, great. That's, that's me. I'm trying uh, Plato's Closet today for the first time. I've never taken anything there. I'm going to drop some stuff off at Plato's Closet and see if they'll take it. And if so, they give you cash right away. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. And I'll get rid of some okay. of the stuff. I yes. have a fucking yak forever. <laughs> and um, thank you, Angie. I want to invite everybody to go subscribe to Angie's channel too. She's Treasured Vintage here on YouTube. She is like the most knowledgeable person I know when it comes to uh, selling and collecting jewelry. So be sure and go sub to her. Oh, I've and seen it for quite a Thrifty Chicks has what if more than one person chooses a certain number. We are the, per- the second person who chooses that number. We're letting them know we're saying, hey, someone's already chosen this number. So yeah. Uh, yeah, we will. That's how we're taking care of that. And if you have any questions or anything, you can contact us through the uh, YouTube or our email is debbymaxco13 at gmail.com. Either way. Awesome. Andy, do you have any parting words? Um, happy Valentine's Day, all my friends. Yeah. Love y'all. Uh, Well, thanks everybody for joining us. We really appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a happy Valentine's Day. And we will see you guys next week. Our guest is going to be Carla, Princess Casserole. So Mm -hmm. join us then Wednesday, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time next week. I believe it's the 21st, right? I think that's right. Uh, Yeah, which is 14th, seven days will be 21st. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, guys, y'all have a good one. Okay, bye, y'all. Bye. Uh...